Pawn Shops, a place where you go to buy or sell valuable items for cash. You can find cool items such as jewelry, electronics, collectibles, and many more, but they aren't known to give you the best deals. So today I'll be going around to different pawn shops in my city to try to sell some of my most valuable items. Let's see if they give me a good deal or if I get scammed. For the very first item, this is priceless to me. It was gifted by running back legend, Ladanian Tomlinson. He gifted me a pro football hall of fame helmet signed by the man himself. Yeah, I probably should have cleaned the glass before taking it in uncommon rug l let's go see what a pawn shop will give me for this rare helmet wow this place is sick look at that back to the future time machine is this like the gaming section right here it's our uh, consumer electronics and you have your silver jewelry on this side Ooh. collectibles this way behind you would be our music room they literally got bars of gold here how much would one of these go for like just fine gold let's take guesses if it was that weight of gold i'm guessing four hundred thousand dollars i'm gonna say a quarter million sixty three thousand and twenty two dollars Oh, 63K. I want to check out the music section. Hey, so I brought something pretty valuable to me and I wanted to see if I could get a price on it. Of course. Wait, I did see some shoes too. Bro, what are these? I've never seen these before. That's crazy, bro. I think the most impressive shoe is that one right there. Damn. Now these are tough. We got a Ladanian Tomlinson signed pro football hall of fame helmet. This was actually gifted to me by LT himself. Really? Yeah. It's a little dusty because it's been in my game room the whole time, but we, we can clean that up. No, there's something like this. It's it's not so black and white. It depends on a lot of factors. For one, how many things has he signed? For another thing, COA would go far away. And then collectors. A diehard collector is going to be willing to pay way more. Yeah. I can give him my best shot though. Now it kind of makes sense when some athletes are very picky on what they autograph because the more you autograph, I guess the less valuable it is. Yeah, if you want to take your time, check it out. Thank you, bro. Guesses. I'm thinking it's got to be at least a thousand dollars. Like that's my guess. I was saying more, bro. Not only is it a helmet, it's an actual valuable item itself. I don't know. I feel like it's like five to ten. Damn. Over time. I'm thinking a thousand because, bro, at the end of the day, pawn shops have to profit money too. So I feel like they will lowball, but there's always room for negotiation. They're cooking in there, bro. Another thing I did notice is I didn't see anything signed in there. So this could be their first signed sports memorabilia, which is pretty valuable. You watch my YouTube videos? Yeah. No way. That's awesome. Go say hi. Go say hi. What's your name? Ariana. Ariana. I've heard of you. Thank you. I nice to meet you. UFC and stuff. Oh, for real? Yeah, I boxed a little bit up to wow. the Olympics and then had 192 fights, and now I just want to went to fight him. I appreciate you. Too. And then for this one, we could do this type of choke. This okay, let's see. It. the head arm choke. So we'll go right here, and then you just tell me when you want to tap. Okay. Oh, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> what would you think, just looking at this, I don't know if you know about like pricing, but what would your guess be just by looking at this? It was handed to me by LT himself. I would say for a pawn shop, maybe 2,500. Ooh, okay, okay. I could be completely wrong. Let's see, we're about to get the number right now. What were you saying? Without a COA this year, high as 500 and low as 250. Thank you so much, I appreciate you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Okay guys, we just pulled up to the next pawn shop. The next item I have to sell. No, you just can't get mad at me for this. Is that my chain? Just, I gave that to you. Hold on, hold on. Just hear me out. It was a birthday gift, right? Yeah. I loved it. Loved. Oh, so not anymore. Not anymore. I'm just trying to get some quick cash. So I respect it, bro. Really? You're not mad? No. I mean, if you can get like at least 50 for it. 50K? Bucks. Oh, 50. I don't know if you want to disclose how much you paid for this. Let me look it up, actually. Damn, did I pay this much? 3,000. 3,000? 3, oh, come on, G. Come on, man. It's not about the money or anything, of course, but the fact that you did that is crazy. We're looking for something above 3K. And this pawn shop actually specializes in jewelry specifically so let's see what we get what up what up i got something good for you here to check out hopefully a praise for me and see what you guys can get for it looking forward to it so it is a phase clan x lakers chain very custom one of one let's take a look do you have a diamond tester too i do yeah we can check that out so next thing i'm gonna do is gonna use this fun machine this is an x-ray and we're gonna x-ray the metal see what it's made of that is sick all right it's going in he melts it he melts <laughs> <laughs> so we'll hit start, see what it says, and this is the precious metal analyzer, so it's going to analyze Whoa. what the gold content is, what other metals are mixed in with it. In this case, this is 10 karat gold. 10 karat is 41.6% pure gold. It's a little on the lower end, but let's get you a price. How long does it usually take for you to get a price? Next couple minutes will be done. Okay. Those machines they have are crazy. Like, it literally tells you the amount of karat gold. That's insane. I did see something say cookie plug, and it looked fire. Okay. So we got to get some cookies. Oh, yeah. Whoa. How you doing? Oh my God. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You watch the videos? A long time ago I did. Thank you. I appreciate that. Good to go. Cool. Have a good one. Some fans spotted me eating my cookie and I was kind of embarrassing because I was like this. 
I don't want to touch it. I was gonna say what's up. Hey, I like the shirt. Steph Curry, Appreciate greatest it. shooter of all time. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you like John Morant? Can you gritty like John Morant? Hey, hold up. Hey, have a go and all right? Bro, he hit that. I'm not gonna lie. And then what else is gonna hit is the cash I'm gonna get for this chain. Sorry, no. We're back. You got a prize for us? I got a prize for you. Ooh, okay, okay. What else did you test when we were gone? We measured the diamonds. The diamonds are real. They're natural diamonds. They're not lab grown, so your buddy's looking out for you. <laughs> yeah, let's go, baby. When you buy something like this, you pay a lot for labor. It's always gonna be a higher retail price tag on a piece like that. As far as selling jewelry goes, we look at materials. Here you've got gold and diamonds. Diamonds. This would be around two grand if we were buying it, but with your name on it and certificate of authenticity, I think we could do a little better, you know, because the brand comes with it. Would you have like an estimated price of like, if it is from me? I'd have to look you up a little bit more. Just yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> See how much fame there really is. Yeah. That would determine it. Okay, cool. That's a great price. Thank you so much. Yeah, I think I might have to keep this because it's a gift, you know, it's like I would I'll definitely be a bad friend no, if I were to sell it. Buddy will be mad. That's actually pretty good. 2000 yeah. but that's if it wasn't me. He said he'd have to do more more research with like my fame and stuff. Oh yeah, I feel like you could sell it probably for five plus. All right, bro, go finish the rest of the video. <laughs> you take it from here. Okay. I'm gonna just talk to him, do some research on my videos and stuff, and okay. then I might come back with some cash. Okay. I'll give you like 2% of it though. No, no, you can keep it. Bro, you're a real one, bro, for real. <laughs> Let's go. All right, we just made it to the next pawn shop and look at this mural they have on the back of the shop. Bro, they told us that this cost $20,000 to paint. And I mean, it looks like it cost that amount. I think to switch it up here, I actually wanna buy something from this pawn store and I've seen this kid on TikTok who goes to pawn stores and offers them to pay with a mystery box so let's go Brian nice, nice to meet you. you I have something very valuable to me this is my first piece of jewelry that I ever bought my first ever Rolex and I heard you guys have a Rolex expert here yeah, yeah, that's, me. that's you yeah. hey perfect it's just a plain Jane I'm not sure the exact terminology of it but is that a plain Jane it's just a date just date just a plain okay. Jane would be no diamonds so I wanted to see how much you can offer me for sure. this do you want to take a look yeah, at it Take a look at it, it's beautiful. Thank you. I got a similar one here. The one I have is from the 80s. Ooh. When did you buy this one? Probably like seven years ago. Can I check out the one that you have in the case? That's so cool, they actually have rollies here. Exactly. Whoa. Yeah, see that? It's literally the same, almost. Yeah. So that's from the 80s. This is from the 80s, 1985. That face looks exactly the same. Yeah. Is mine bigger? It looks bigger because yours has the new case. The case is a little thicker. And yeah. And also you have the white gold bezel. Oh yeah, yeah. While you value that or yeah. evaluate it, can we just check out the rest of the store? Yeah. Definitely. Cool. I guess. Thank you. I feel like they know what they're talking about. Oh, what is this? A film camera? Or actually, mm. it's a Fuji film. It's only pictures, though, right? Yeah, only pictures. All right, let's check this side out. I'm going to try to buy something from here with this mystery box. But just for your guys' knowledge, I paid $10,000 on the dot for that Rolex. From what I've heard, Rolexes go up in price. They do. Especially if it's something like that. I kept it in perfect condition since I got it. No scratches. So we'll see what they can offer me. But what am I buying with this mystery box here? Is this an RC car? Like, what? <laughs> Maybe we should try to buy a camera the Fuji film yeah try. that would be sick I mean that makes sense yeah are these rare Dang. oh I didn't even look at that there's a headset and they got a Yeti right there see some video games in there Assassin's Creed the Walking Dead you guys have Call of Duty yeah, we have Black Ops. oh dang this is the OG right here oh but no this is Black Ops 3 you guys don't happen to have like Black Ops 2 or MW2 for the 360 no. Dude, I talk about the gaming days all the time. Like that's literally how I came up and it's always gonna be in my blood. Can I actually check out the GoPro Hero 4? Dude, this is crazy. If you guys don't know this, what the old GoPros used to look like. Hero 3 Plus actually. I low-key like the style of these. Yeah, like simple. new ones are cool, but it's crazy to know that I've been around making videos where this was the current GoPro. Like I used to make trick shotting videos with this, like ping pong trick shots. That's crazy. How much is this price for? 50 bucks. Can I get this? Yeah, for sure. Now I have a question. Instead of the $50, would you like what's in this mystery box for the GoPro? I don't know, what's in there? It's a mystery. Can I shake it? You can shake it. I'll take the box. You'll take the risk? Okay, for the GoPro, if you want to open it up. Ah, uh, this guy gave me a dollar. Damn, bro, you should have just taken the cash. Come on. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to give you the 50 bucks. I just want to see if you're going to choose the mystery box. How's the Rolex looking? Do you have a price for it yet or no? You know what? I do have a couple questions. Do you have the original box and certificate for and God. the extra links? Definitely it's not. Okay. No, that's not a big deal. A box and certificate typically will increase the value of the watch. Makes sense, yeah. of course. As is, I think I would easily pay about 75 7500 okay right now they're retailing around 11,000 right brand right new with box cert, so yeah I got it for 10,000 on the dot I remember it was oh, just okay. if I had all that stuff would I be able to get 11k or since it's used it would obviously go down a little yeah. bit 11k would be a watch that you would go to Rolex and buy it directly brand new from Rolex. yeah I just saw a video do you know who mr. beast is yeah 
yeah, I heard of him. He went to a pawn shop. He just bought a brand new Rolex for $14,000. Yeah. Brand new, right after, took it to a pawn shop and they offered him $7,200 for it. That gave me the idea to do this. I want to see like how much I could get, but honestly, without the box, without the links and all that, $7,500 is a pretty good price. I actually have one more item I want you to evaluate, sure. if that's cool. This is a cause piece. I'm not too sure the exact piece it is, the exact model, but I want you to take a look at it. Yeah, it is used, obviously. I've had it for like three years now. With collectibles, it's always different. Like they go up, they go down. So I'm not too sure about this piece. It also depends the person that buys it. Do they really want it? Is it valuable to them? Yeah, exactly. These things also, if you have a box or if it's been untouched, they're worth even more. Yeah. Yeah, let me see. Cool, yeah, if you want to take yeah, a look. For sure, yeah, for sure. Definitely. What exactly is this? 100 ounce bar. 100 ounce bar. 100 ounce of yeah. fine silver. Five ounces. Just to get that comparison. What do people do with this stuff? They just like hold on to it? It's Currency, yeah. Oh, how much does this go for? It depends on what the value of silver is in the stock market. Okay, okay. Yeah, right now, that's going for about 2600 We made the deal on the GoPro. Let's go. We got $25 off. Hey, thank you again, Alan. Yeah, Appreciate no you. Let's go. Since so you were talking about silver, in the Batman movies and comics, uh, Two-Face. Yeah. So he uses a coin. He flips the coin. Uh-huh. So this is the actual coin. What? This is the coin. A 1922 piece dollar. That's what, what? he uses. Yo, that's crazy. It is for me? Yeah. Like to keep? That. Yeah. You can Are you serious? No way. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, bro. Noah, since I tried uh, selling your chain that you gave me, I have a gift for you. <laughs> it's the coin. It's the coin, bro. Kind of heavy. Do you have any uh, idea on this yet? You know what? I saw a lot of different prices. How much were you thinking uh, you wanted to get for it? You know what? If I go in my StockX history, I feel like I'll find how much I paid for it exactly. I know I did pay definitely over 2K for that. Oh, I was wrong. I paid $1,069 wow, for it. That's really good. Wait, what is it up to now? There's some going for like two, three thousand, even more. So are you a- So I'll give you a thousand seventy to make a dollar. No. <laughs> Would you guys actually be interested in buying it from me or no? Yeah, I'd buy it. But not for 1070 How much would you want for it? Because, see, I have to resell it. Can we have a little meeting real quick? We'll yeah. talk real quick. Get good price for it. Because you can resell it for two. Let's run that. 1500 take it or leave it. How about 1250? We'll meet halfway. Profiting $200 though. Let's do 1350. $1350? <laughs> this bro's talking like it's his. <laughs> I'll do 1350. 13? All right, you got it. I'm down. Hey, okay. I've never actually made a deal at a pawn shop, so this is there first you. time for everything. There you go. Appreciate you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. All right, guys, we are at the last pawn store right now. This right here is probably three bucks at the store, but I want to see if they would value it higher if I actually signed it. So let's go see if they have a Sharpie. Do you think that my signature is actually worth something because I signed a lot of stuff for fans. I don't think they actually like sell it on eBay, you know? You never know. Hi. How are you? Good to see you. So what we got going on today? I wanted to pitch you my chug rug, which is my energy drink. Okay. It's worth about like $3 at stores. I wanted to see if I could sign it and see if you could value it after that. Yeah. Cause I don't know if like you guys do stuff like that, like memorabilia and stuff. Can I get a Sharpie please? Yeah, okay. Oh yes, thank you. There we go. It's authentic. You guys see it here. I don't know. Is that even something you guys are willing to look. consider? Let me see. Yeah, it has you on it. You need to authenticate it. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have you hold it. Okay. I'm going to take a photo of you. Okay. okay. One, two. Great. It's authentic, 100%. Wait, whoa, that Gucci bag is crazy. I've never seen anything like that. That's so cool. For something like this, and to say, you know, you have your signature on it, I would be willing to trade it for at least five handbags on the wall. The top bag's around 3,000. The one next to it's close to 35. The one under it's close to 3,000. Are you so, being serious? Yeah, being for serious. for a chug rug signed by me? Yep, from you. I would feel wrong doing that. I'm not going to lie. Wait, can I actually see the top Gucci bag? Wait, <laughs> what? Are you being serious? I mean, for real. Wait, I just want to see what I look like with this on. Hold on. We don't even have to do that. Like, I will pay for the bag. I would feel really bad. I just want to see if you'd value it. I was even thinking something like $20. For real, I think that the value is just up there, for sure. I'm down. Let's do it. Okay, wait, so I can get four more. Four more. I think one is enough, bro, right? I, I wouldn't. Unless you want something. I think it's not going to happen. You don't want anything? No, that's not really what she's going to give you. <laughs> Dude, don't tell me you did that again. It's a joke, right? It's a joke, right? <laughs> obviously, obviously it's a joke. I knew it was, I promise you I knew it was a prank. I hit them up a little bit beforehand and I told them like to kind of overvalue it, you know what I mean? I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I knew that. I knew, oh, I knew it was a prank all along. Like I could easily tell. It's not like I was actually going to walk away with this. <laughs> Wait, no, what's wrong with you, bro? Good acting skills. I'm not gonna lie. Wow. She had the camera too to take a picture. Anyone want to buy this for the price of five handbags? Let me know in the comment section down below. Dude, I don't want to say I got pranked again because I just got pranked with magnet fishing. But why did I believe it? Realistically, is this like just not worth anything? I mean, like, your signature though. Yeah. 
everything. There is value for that. Yeah. I do have something else that I was wondering if you could value for me. It's shoes. I don't know if you guys do shoes. Let me take a look and see. Okay, okay. Oh, man. I think I paid around like $300, $400 for them. So I wore them a few times. They're kind of scuffed. Let me put one on real quick. But what if this was my fit for the day? Like one Travis, one mischief boot. All right. Noah, can you please help me? In secondhand market, they go around like 295. Okay. So we would probably offer around 200 and hope, you know, just make a little bit of money. 200? Okay. Not gonna lie, that prank was crazy, bro. Like, I really thought I was about to get five handbags. I just started thinking about Mama Rug. I'm like, all right, she would get the Louis, I would get the Gucci bag, whatever Noah wants, I'll get him. <laughs> all right, guys, we made it back home. And overall, I had so much fun doing this. Every pawn store we went to, I think, gave me a fair price for all of my valuable items. Cause at the end of the day they have to give me something that they can also profit that is the whole point of a pawn shop so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video i love doing stuff like this so if you want me to do more let me know down in the comment section below make sure you drop a like on the video and we will see you all with the next peace